The students have two projects in the, uh, in the course. The first is an oral history of a Native American in the Chicago area, either somebody of an uh, earlier generation who moved from a reservation into the city, or younger Native Americans who've spent their whole lives in the city. We went to the Menominee Nation of Wisconsin. I wanted them to get a sense of how important the land, the Wolf River place is in the minds of people who relocated to Chicago. I hope this trip would give them a sense of why they returned, many of them returned, and what they felt about the place they had come from. The Menominee are the one tribe that have never left Wisconsin, what we call Wisconsin. Wisconsin is what we call it. That means a good place to live. The way we're told is we are this land. Our blood, our relatives, we feed this land. We don't think we're above it, we're part of it. We, trees grow from that and we, and berry bushes and, and animals feed off all of those nutrients from my body, from our bodies, our relatives. You see, and we feed off that too. And we know that land, we're part of it. We're not above it, we're not separate from it, we're part of it. I think we felt it was a special effort on the part of everybody that we came in contact with at the Menominee Nation, and especially the College of the Menominee Nation, uh, in providing uh, transportation for us, uh, a professor, uh, somebody who took us into the forest and could explain the trees. Everybody seemed so willing and enthusiastic about telling the story of the nation, and, and, that, and they were pleased that we were interested. And the other thing is that the, the, the powwow had an impact because it brought together all ages of a community and they were all doing a dance like the snake dance where they were moving around the floor and this, there was a big story being told moving from this life across the river to the next life. And the snake began to unboil and once again returned back to grandmother Earth. The dancers will dance up to the river and they will back up and on their second go they will jump over the river on their second attempt. In journalism, we learn a lot about simplifying things to the who, what, when, where, why. But there's just so much to the why and the who. What going to the Menominee Reservation with my class really did for me was <laughs> really drill in the fact that to really, really do these uh, communities and these stories justice. You can't just parachute into a community. The people and the culture are complex. And your storytelling also has to be complex. Then what I realized was that there's just so much more to journalism than just the who, what, when, where, why. If you didn't come forward, you would never know that something as small as this, this reservation, and these beautiful people, my relatives here, how they live. Our Menominee story, that beautiful story, we want people to know that those old people taught us a good way to live, a good way to see the world, a good way to sustainably live in this world, and Many times that message does not get through to the cities with all of this social media and all of the vast advertising and commercialism that goes on, but we're still here and we live our way. And it's good that people can come forward and see how we live. <laughs>